I'm really excited. I'm finally going to be able to show you guys the hardest presets that I've been working on for a really, really long time. Um, so this set is more of a stylized, artsy set. It's very brown toned. So it's not necessarily a set of presets that's going to work for everything, but it does work for a lot. And I've got a whole bunch of images here from all different uh, lighting sessions, situations, um, to give you a good idea of what this set can do. And I'm also going to be using my brushes in this set. So this is something that's new in the shop as well. And these are just quick access brushes that you can use. It's called the skin set in the shop. And I'm going to show you how all this works. So let me just scroll through these quickly so you can see what they all do to the image. So you'll see they don't all work, but there's definitely something here that will. So just to give you an idea of what everything looks like and this also comes with these tones here so the hardest tones and these will change the look of your image a little bit and I'll explain that in a minute and you also get these tools so there's all this here included um, so let's get a, go ahead and start editing these uh, so this image I think I'll go with toasty right here and I'm going to bring the shadows up a little bit. And I'm going to bring the temperature down just a touch. A little bit right about there. And I'm going to use a brush. I'm going to use the highlights minus brush just to bring down some areas that are a little too hot because I, I really want the focus to just be on the baby and not everything all around him. So just bring all that down, maybe even his shirt a little. Okay, and I really like how this is looking. I like how moody it is and warm. Um, so now I'm gonna just show you the tones so, so you can see what they do to the image. So tone one just kind of cleans off. See how it's kind of very warm everywhere? So tone one resets that and just cools everything back down. Tone 2 will keep your highlight areas really clean, but it's going to add warmth to the shadows. So that's before and that's with Tone 2. Tone 3 brings reds into the image. Tone 4 will cool everything down, so it's going to bring more cool tones into both the highlights and shadow areas. And Tone 5 is going to cool down the highlights and warm up the shadows. So these are different looks that you can get by combining the presets with the different tones here. But I think I'm actually gonna leave this one as it is. And let's look at the before. That's what it was before and after. So you can see it's very brownish, very moody looking, which is exactly what I was going for with this set. So let's move on to the next image. And let's take a look here. There, I really like that. Okay, let's move on. So let's go with Cozy here. Cozy is the darkest of the presets and the moodiest, I would say, um, but I really like I, I really like the tones in it. So I'm gonna go with actually Cozy Plus. So the plus brings up the shadows and the plus plus version brightens the image and brings down the contrast in the image as well. So I'm gonna go with Cozy Plus here and I'm gonna use a brush just to tone down the highlights again. So I'm going to go back here and grab my highlights brush and I'm going to make this bigger and just brush this over and I might actually go ahead and warm up the whole image as well just a bit okay and that's before and after okay let's move on to the next one uh, let's go with toasty here toasty is a little bit warmer than the others and I'm gonna bring my temperature up a lot and bring my exposure down so I really like that that's before and after uh, so for this image I'm gonna start by cropping it I'm gonna go into my crop tool and just make it into a vertical like this and let's try snug here and I think I'm gonna warm it up ok 
Okay. So I really like how it has these like vintage brown tones, even in the greens. So let's look at the before and after. Okay, that's good. So let's see, let's go with cozy because I really like how moody that is and I want this to stay moody. Um, I feel like there's a bit of greenish tones in her hair, which I don't like. So I'm going to use a brush to get rid of that. I'm just going to come brush this over. And I think I might even bring the shadows down and the highlights down a little bit. And I think I'm going to go here and add clarity. When there's stuff with a lot of hair, I really like to add a lot of clarity. And I might use a brush and add even more clarity. Okay. And I think I might bring my exposure up just a tiny bit and my contrast up a little bit as well. And I'm going to bring the shadows up over here. And I'll bring a little bit more magenta back in. And let's take a look at the before and after. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Let's see about cozy here. Oh, that's perfect. So before and after. And let's go to the next one. Let me just straighten this out. Let's try toasty here. Uh, I think I like the regular one better. Maybe bring the temperature up very, very slightly. And I might bring the shadows up a little bit. Okay, I like that. Before and after. Let's try cozy here. Yeah, I love that. Okay, let's move to the next one. Um... Let's see, what would I do here? Let's try Snug. I'm going to use Snug Plus to bring up the shadows a little bit on her face. So this area is very dark on her arm, so I'm just going to warm that up. I'm going to add warmth there. And I'm definitely going to add clarity here and add some more contrast. I'm going to warm up the image. It's looking really orange, so I'm going to go into my tools and just bring the oranges down. And I'm going to bring my temperature up quite a bit. And I think I might dehaze a tiny bit and add more clarity. Okay, I think I like that. Let's look at the before and after. And I might just fix her arm a little bit more. Make my brush smaller. Just bring up the shadows here and warm it up a little bit. Alright, so there's the before and after. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, first thing I'm going to do here is just add a little lens correction. It's a little bit too dark. Uh, around the sides. And then let's take a look at the presets here. So I think I'm going to go, the black and whites look really, really good, but I want to keep this one in color. So I think I'm going to go with homely and I, it's a bit too bright. I'm going to bring the exposure down just a little bit. And I might use a graduated filter just to bring the sky back a little. Just bring the exposure down and the highlights down. And that brings back a bit of the clouds. So let's see the before and after. Okay, so for this one I think I'll go with maybe Mellow, Mellow Plus. And I'll bring my exposure up. And I'll bring the white balance up a little bit too. That's before and after. And this one, let's try Cuddle, Cuddle Plus. Okay, let me 
gonna see about toasty. Oh, I think I like toasty better. So let's go with toasty and maybe I'll bring the highlights down just a tiny bit and the shadows up a little bit as well. I really like that. So before and after. Okay, I'm gonna crop this image. I don't like everything in the background and her face is kind of dark, so I, I don't really need her whole face here. I'm just gonna crop it in. Okay, let's try cozy. I really like this one. I might go with cozy plus just to bring the shadows up a little. Maybe I'll bring them back down just a touch. And I'm gonna use the highlights brush just to bring down these highlights on her arm. It's a little bit strong. Maybe I'll bring it down here too a little. And I'll reduce that. And I think I'll crop it in a little more because I get her under eye circle there. I don't want to see that. Perfect. So let's see before and after. Okay, so this one, let's try Toasty. Uh, let's go with that. And I'm going to warm this up quite a bit. I'm going to bring the exposure down. Bring it around here. And I'm going to add contrast. And I'm definitely going to add clarity as well. And I think I might dehaze also, just a little. Let's bring back a little bit of reds and bring this even lower. I love that. Okay, so there's the before image and after. Okay, so let's try cuddle here. We haven't used that one, I don't think. Uh, I'll maybe do cuddle plus to bring back the shadows, bring up the shadows, I mean, and just bring the exposure down. Okay, I really like that. Let's try toasty here. Oh, that's really cute. And I might use a brush around her eyes. Bring the shadows up a little. And let me take another brush and just try to get her eyes to pop a little bit more. Okay, so let's take a look at the before and after. And that's pretty good for me, so I'm gonna move on. So this one I'm gonna definitely go with toasty, I think. I'm gonna bring my temperature up a little and bring my exposure down, I really like that. So let's take a look before and after. And this one, I think I'll just go with cozy. I love that. So that's pretty good for me. I'm gonna move on to the next image. Let's try cuddle. I'm gonna bring the exposure down. She's a little bit orange, so I think I'll go ahead and bring the Orange is down a little. Bring this back up. I'm gonna use a brush on her eyes just to bring the shadows up. I'll make that bigger. Okay, I like that. And I think I'll also bring some color back to her lips. So I'm gonna use the rosy preset here. And just bring a bit of color back. I'm doing this quickly. I should do it a little bit more carefully, but just to give you an idea. Maybe erase it a little here. I went a little over her lips. Okay. So let's see, before and after. Oh, that's great. And let's try cuddle here again. Bring my exposure up. Let's try a different tone on this one. Kind of like that. Let's take a look before and after. Okay, for this image, let's see. I'm gonna try snug. 
or maybe snug plus and this definitely needs a lot of clarity uh, I'll go maybe clarity plus plus and I'm going to bring my exposure up as well and maybe just warm it up let's bring the highlights down a touch and even more clarity I think okay so before and after okay this is the last image let's try let's try snug oh I love that this would also probably look really good as a black and white so let's take a look uh, I think two was the winner for me I love that as well so that's it that should hopefully give you a good idea of what these hardest presets can do and how they look so as you can see it's very brown toned and more of a stylized look than say the evergreen preset which is more of an all-around preset but uh, they're they're really beautiful and i hope you guys like them if you have any questions let me know thank you